Hi friends. Welcome to another learning video on Pharma Guideline. Today we will discuss corrective and preventive action and its effective implementation in pharmaceutical manufacturing facilities. Corrective and preventive action is an important process in the pharmaceutical industry that involves investigating the root cause of deviations, errors, and non-conformances and implementing corrective and preventive measures to address them. CAPR is a critical aspect of quality management in the pharmaceutical industry and it is an essential element of good manufacturing practices and other regulatory requirements. The CAPR process in pharmaceuticals typically involves five parts. First part is identification of the problem. Any deviation, error or non-conformance is identified and documented. This can occur during the manufacturing process, quality control testing or any other aspect of pharmaceutical production. Second part is investigation. The cause of the deviation or non-conformance is investigated. The root cause of the problem is identified and all potential contributing factors are evaluated. Third one is corrective action. An action plan is developed to address the root cause of the problem. The corrective action aims to eliminate the problem or reduce the likelihood of its recurrence. Fourth part is preventive action. Additional steps are taken to prevent the problem from occurring again in the future. This may involve process improvements, personal training, changes to procedures or systems or other measures. And fifth part is verification and monitoring. The effectiveness of the corrective and preventive actions is verified and the results are monitored to ensure that the problem does not recur. The CAPA process is essential in the pharmaceutical industry to ensure that deviations and non-conformances are addressed promptly and effectively. This helps to maintain the quality and safety of pharmaceutical products and to comply with regulatory requirements. The CAPA process also helps to identify opportunities for continuous improvement and to prevent future deviations and non-conformances. CAPA is an important part of any quality management system and its success depends on the effective implementation of several key steps. Here I will explain these steps one by one. First step is define the problem. The first step in any CAPA process is to identify and define the problem that needs to be addressed. This includes understanding the root cause of the problem and all of the factors that contribute to it. Second step is develop a plan. Once the problem has been defined, a plan must be developed to address it. This plan should be designed to prevent the problem from occurring again in the future. Third step is implement the plan. The next step is to implement the corrective and preventive actions outlined in the plan. This may involve making changes to processes, training employees or other measures. Fourth step is monitor effectiveness. Once the corrective and preventive actions have been put in place, it's important to monitor their effectiveness to ensure that they are actually solving the problem. This may require collecting data and analyzing it regularly. The last step is to document all of the steps that were completed during the investigation from the very beginning to when it reached its conclusion. It's important to document each step so nothing gets forgotten. These five steps provide an excellent structure for making sure that investigations are conducted effectively and efficiently. Steps 1 through 4 should generally be performed by an internal auditor or another employee who can work in an unbiased manner due to not being involved directly with the subject matter of the investigation. Where step 5 might be performed by a member of management instead. However, it's certainly up to you how this is pursued within your organization. Now, if you're responsible for CAPA in your organization, you know that CAPA can be a complex and lengthy process. But taking the necessary steps to ensure CAPA success doesn't have to be difficult. By following a few best practices, you can streamline your CAPA process and ensure that it is effective. But CAPA isn't just about the process, it's also about communication. Your CAPA success depends on getting support from all levels of the organization. Here are a few tips for ensuring that everyone who needs to know about CAPA is on board. Make sure management is aware of and supportive of your CAPA efforts. Educate employees about the importance of CAPA and how it impacts the organization. Clearly communicate the roles and responsibilities of everyone involved in the CAPA process. Make sure all employees understand the potential consequences of not following CAPA procedures. Encourage employees to report any potential problems or concerns so that they can be addressed quickly and appropriately. By taking these steps, you can ensure that everyone who needs to know about CAPA is aware of its crucial elements. By using CAPA to find root causes and make positive changes, your company will not only see a reduction in rework, but also experience better product quality.
employees will be able to pinpoint potential problems before they happen. Because ongoing CAPA efforts encourage employees to report potential errors, so that corrective actions can be taken immediately. It takes time and effort to create such knowledgeable videos, so like and share the video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thanks for watching this video.